What up, YouTube? It's your boy, I Fit In. And uh, I've been meaning to uh, talk about Clarissa Shields for the past couple days, but this weekend has been very crazy. But one thing I need for people to understand is how necessary she is, not just for women's boxing, but the sport of boxing in total. There, there, there's honestly no man that's accomplished what she's accomplished. Like, not exactly. She just recently... Uh, Beat Lomachenko, beat uh, Lomachenko's record for uh, quickest to three divisions uh, title, three division titles. She did that within ten fights at 168, 160, and 154, and she honestly did it quite easily. But before that, even as an amateur, the woman was accomplished. Seventy-seven wins, only one loss, and it was high, like top-tier competition. Uh, she won gold in the Pan American Games. In uh, 2015 in Toronto as a light heavyweight, uh, she won the world championships twice in 2014, 2016, in uh, Jeju and uh, Astana as a middleweight. She won 2012 uh, Olympics as a middleweight. She won gold. She won uh, 2016 Rio uh, champ uh, Olympics as a middleweight as well. I mean... 10 bouts, and she's already a three-division world champion. She's got like nine or 10 belts. You know, two KOs as a woman. You know, she scored her first knockdown against somebody who's never been knocked down. I, 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 like, until this day, we got people that still don't understand why she's necessary. And, you know, they say they're not interested in women's boxing. Well, you guys need to be. Because this woman is doing something that a lot of men can't do. She is carrying women's boxing. She's 24 years old. How is that not a big deal? You, you guys never know. She could be boxing for the next 16 years. Clarissa Shields is everything for boxing. Everything. And, and she's so underappreciated. You know, people scoff at her because she, she believes women, women should have three minutes just like the men and should have equal pay. Why shouldn't they? I say let it happen. Like, the woman is headlining cards, you know. Just, even if you don't agree that women should have equal rights to men in boxing, you have to at least appreciate and respect what this woman is doing. She's doing something that athletes just don't do. And I don't care if there's more male boxers than, than female boxers. Claire, Claire Ritzel Shields is great for the, for the sport period. She's a champion. She deserves everything she's getting. She, she deserves a recognition. She deserves more money. She deserves more sponsorship. She deserves more attention for what she's doing. Like, can we just agree upon that? Like, come on. Like, it just... Not only that, she's working backwards. Most people move up in weight to capture another title. She went from 168 down to 160, down to 154. And as an amateur, she started as light heavyweight and then went to the middle. So from the beginning of her career all the way till now, she's been working down. And now she wants to go back up... Uh, to, to take on Jimenez, which I think she should. Because, you know, I, I have my own questions about Jimenez. And I honestly, Jimenez is way too slow for Clarissa Shields. The only reason Jimenez beat the diva is because she got gassed and she started moving slower. She got tired early on in the fight. So, you know, I, I honestly think... Just put some respect on Clarissa Shields' name. Like, you don't gotta like her as a person, even though I think she's a great person. You you like you don't gotta be that interested in women's boxing, even though I think it's it's very entertaining now. You know, just Layla Ali didn't even do what what, what Clarissa Shields is doing, and you saw how how much respect Layla Ali got. And I honestly think that's because of who her father was. She was great. I'm not saying she wasn't. But Clarissa Shields is doing more than what, what Layla Ali had done. You know, just think about it. 
Clarissa Shields grew up in one of the toughest neighborhoods in Flint, Michigan. She rocks her hair blue at all of her fights uh, for to, you know to protest for the Flint, Michigan water crisis. She used to jog to the gym through two of the toughest neighborhoods in Flint, Michigan. She was always the first to the gym. Like, why can't y'all just respect this woman's story, bro? Like, like, why does this not matter? And keep in mind, she's five foot eight. She's five foot eight at 154. That's very hard for a woman to do. Very hard. And I, I, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people understand that, like how, how difficult it is what she's doing. You know, I'm, I'm in a bunch of boxing groups that talk a lot of trash about her because she's a woman. Bruh, she's doing everything that could possibly be done for a woman, like that a, that a woman could possibly do as a female athlete, period. Not even just as a boxer. Like, honestly, I think she should get female athlete of the year this year. It just, I, I don't understand how you guys could show no respect for what Clarissa Shields is doing. Like the, like the woman is dominating the sport, dominating. There's, the, there's not a single name that, that you can, out there that you can say would beat her. And then she's one-upping what Floyd Money Mayweather did by deciding to go to the to the to the cage to the octagon and fight an MMA fighter. Not only that, she wants to fight the best. She's going to take it to Amanda Nunez's backyard and face her. You tell me how many how many boxers are brave enough to go get in that cage and get kicked and body slammed and choked out. And she's going in there with the intent to win, not to collect the paycheck, with the intent to win. And Amanda Nunez is a ferocious woman. She's a scary woman. Clarissa Shields ain't scared. She ain't, she'll face anybody. She'll face anybody. And she wants him in his next. A woman that was getting hit with a bunch of knockout shots and walking through them. That's who, who Clarissa Shields wants to face next. Y'all can't tell me this woman ain't a dog. Y'all can't tell me she don't deserve to be what she asked. And you can't tell me that she does not deserve what she's done right now and what she's asking for. She should be getting a million dollars plus every fight. That's what I believe. And I'm, I'm sick of a bunch of men judging a female athlete. And y'all want to talk about her appearance and stuff. And yes, I'm starting to get mad because she deserves more respect than what she's getting. And, and the fact that every opponent she has talks about her appearance and calls her, just talks a bunch of crap and destroys this woman's character, even though she's, she's the one that's bringing more attention to what you do. What you do is more important today because of her. And she's just 24 years old. And you, you have no respect for it. No respect at all. That's, that's sickening. That's disgusting. It makes me sick to my stomach that you guys are not going to show appreciation for her busting her tail to do what she's doing. And, and by the way, she's one of the more active fighters we have out there. Just saying. One of, one of her fights, she only waited three weeks from one fight to another. You tell me who else is doing that, man. And at, at this point... I don't give a damn if you have a contrasting opinion. I don't want to hear it. I'm right, and I'm going to think I'm right. There's nothing you can say to change my mind. I fit in. Out.